so a quick introduction about myself. Um, been working with SharePoint for about three or four years now. I uh, kind of got pulled into SharePoint. Uh, knew my company, um, working as admin, and then recently been started working in the, the SharePoint framework, uh, working on solutions uh, in my company. Um, so I've created this uh, web part, React My Groups. Um, a couple of my users, you know, they usually kind of get lost in SharePoint. We don't have an intranet yet on our SharePoint. We're working towards it, but they are trying to um, find what site they're trying to get to, and so they kind of have an issue there. So I came across this web part to just list all the 365 groups that they're a part of. Um, just uses Microsoft Graph, which uh, will go out, pull the group, and then pull in their the group a link to the URL on their SharePoint site, and then the group's thumbnail. Um, I'll give you guys a quick overview of the web part right here. So I'll refresh this page, uh, just see it load. So it's going to pull in the groups I all for the current user, uh, which myself, and just this couple of groups I have right here. If I click on a group, it will take me to that SharePoint page, the group right there. Um, let me jump over to the code real quick. And so we have the, the web part TS file right here. And so we're doing an on init. We are setting up the group service. Um, we're passing in the context there. And so in that file, this is where we are creating the, the calls to Microsoft Graph. So we have uh, three calls in here, one for getting groups, getting group links, and getting the group thumbnails. The get groups, we are calling the API, um, this right here. This is so the, the current user, member of Microsoft Graph group, and it's going to filter it for, and this filter right here will go to any 365 groups. Um, came across this to looking at the uh, Microsoft Graph uh, documentation. And so on, to get groups links. Uh, we're passing in this API right here, um, we're, we're, we're going to pass in the groups ID as a parameter and grab back, pull back the URL and the sort of thumbnails. We are passing an ID again, uh, requesting that group's photo. So if they have a profile photo set for the group, it'll pull that back um, 48 by 48 size and it'll respond it as a, a blob, which we're going to create to a image URL. Um, so if we jump over to the main web part, um, this is the main kind of web part container. So on our render method, uh, we're just rendering a, a title right here. This is the group list, which is going to render all the the groups uh, in that list format that we see. Um, and so when the component mounts, we're calling get groups. Get groups is going to use the, the group service. And then on each of the groups, it's going to uh, set our state to the groups and then call next to get groups links. Um, passing in uh, the groups that we just grabbed. And then we're going to kind of do a for each here to where we are uh, calling our get service or group service again. And we're passing in the our group item or group to uh, get the group URL for there. And then so we're going to set our state again or kind of update our state for our group state. So we're taking the previous state, we're going to map that out. Um, all the groups, and we're trying to find the one where the group ID matches the, the one that we're currently working on. And we're going to use a spread operator to add a property into that that group right there on the object and give it a value of the, the URL that we returned. And after this, we are going to uh, call our group thumbnails. Um, so this right now is updating the state. So the titles are loading in, the links loading in, and then the, the thumbnails loading in. So we're getting uh, doing the same kind of, kind of the same thing above where we are calling the group service. We're coming back from the uh, the thumbnail, updating their state, where the group ID matches the item ID that we're grabbing right now, and then passing in the thumbnail. Um, so then on our group list, this is getting, uh, as a prop, this is getting the groups. And then on render, it is passing in uh, this prop right here, which is a callback to this render item method. So if we look on here, um, we have a SharePoint or uh, Officer Fabric Control alert list. Uh, we're passing in our groups from the props. Um, we have the item count page for the page height and for the column height. And then on our render cell, which is how we kind of render that kind of uh, document card layout, uh, we call this method down here, which passes it back to um, uh, returning a JSX element for each item. And uh, we do our callback right here to the main component to render those items, uh, doing a passing in the item and then an index for it. 
Uh, so we go back to this guy. Um, down here we have our, our on render method, which we're getting the item. Um, we're using the document card control and so we're doing setting up the the image right here for the thumbnail, uh, setting it to the center. Uh, 48 by 48 is this picture size that we're expecting. And then we're returning this to our component or the groups list component. Uh, this is a document card. We're passing in the the type, which is compact, make sure that nice uh, little compact component. Um, the props for it, which is the uh, the image right here. And then the URL, we're just adding a, an A tag in there. And the title, which is passing in as the, and the properties on those group items that we get, which generates that that list for us, which we see on this page. Um, that's about all I have. Sorry, I went over that a little quick, but I'll answer any questions if there are. No, that's great. There might be a couple questions there in the chat window. Zach, appreciate those. Very cool.